I'm not sure if it's coming or not, but I'm here doing what I need to do. Meteorologist Justin Burke has been tracking Isabel for the past several days now. He joins us with the very latest on this powerful weather system and what it could mean for Maryland. Yeah, thanks a lot, Terry. And uh, we're not trying to be alarmist here, folks, but now is the time to take it seriously. And if you follow us all week long, we will tell you how to get prepared for the potential of a devastating storm heading towards the East Coast. We watch it right now on the satellite picture, and you can see 155 mile per hour winds moving to the west northwest at 13 miles per hour. And now we're plotting it towards the eastern seaboard, 850 miles away from Cape Hatteras. Now, as we roll on into the middle of the week, we have fairly high confidence by Wednesday it will be north of the Bahamas. Now, there's a couple of weather systems that come into play here, one being a large area of high pressure off the coast of Maine and in through eastern Canada. That is poised to move this system towards the eastern seaboard instead of curving it out to sea. We have three potential tracks here, and unfortunately, the most likely track takes it right up to Chesapeake Bay as we head on in through Thursday night. We have the potential for some flooding from high surge, from rainfall, and definitely from wind. We have more details on this and our complete forecast in just a few minutes.